Hi everyone, welcome to Yarnoculus. How are you doing today? I'm back with part 14 of my lowercase alphabet blanket where we are making this gorgeous blanket. If you landed directly on this video, all the previous parts of this series are neatly arranged in a playlist right here. That's gonna get you up to speed on this pattern and I'm sure you're gonna love making this cute little blanket along with me. Before I take you to the craft table, I have one small announcement to make. In one of the previous videos, I mentioned that my channel got monetized late last year. Until now, it has been just me working on Yarnoculus and all the videos and the patterns and it has been absolutely amazing. But I think it's a good time for me to expand my team and that's the reason I'm looking for individuals who would like to work with me on Yarnoculus. And I don't think there's a better place to look for talented individuals other than the YouTube community. So if any of you would like to work with me on Yarnoculus, particularly on the, on the marketing side or the content writing side or video editing and publishing as well please do email me at admin at yarnoculus.com and i will respond to you as soon as possible all right without any further ado let's continue working on our lowercase alphabet blanket and i'll take you straight to the next bunch of rows let's go all right everyone once you're done with the 10 row repeats you would see that your row of d e f g and h is all done and you have also started with the next bunch of rows and that's gonna give you a b and c and we're gonna have the smileys on both the ends okay so this is gonna be the last row last row as in the last bunch of rows for this blanket and that's gonna give you the first three alphabets okay and the two fillers so let's get going with row number 153 so for row number 153 do a change in one which i've already done here and turn your work your blanket would be pretty long by now so be careful when you turn your work okay so now for row number 153 let's start with six single crochets and a bobble stitch Okay, do six single crochets after that. And four pairs of a bobble stitch and a single crochet after that. After the fourth bobble stitch, we need six single crochets. A bobble in the next. Six single crochets again. Four pairs of a bobble stitch and a single crochet. After the fourth bobble, put six single crochets. And a bobble in the next stitch. Seven single crochets next. Three pairs of a bobble stitch and a single crochet. After the third bobble, do seven single crochets. A bobble in the next.
6 single crochets after that Four pairs of a bobble stitch and a single crochet After the fourth bobble stitch, we need six single crochets. A bobble in the next. Six single crochets next. After 6 single crochets, we need 4 pairs of a bobble stitch and a single crochet. Okay, after the fourth bobble stitch, put six single crochets. A bobble in the next. And put six single crochets to end this row. That was row number 153 for row 154 chain 1 turn your work and do a row of single crochet in every stitch that's gonna give you your row number 154 and come back for row number 155 Alright everyone, so once you're done with the row of single crochet in every stitch, that was row number 154. Let's start with row number 155. The same way as usual, chain 1, turn your work. Okay, start with 6 single crochets and a bobble stitch. Five single crochets next. A bobble after that. Seven single crochets next. A bobble in the next. Five single crochets after that. A bobble in the next. Six single crochets next. A bobble, five single crochets, a bobble, six single crochets after that. A bobble next. Seven single crochets. A bobble in the next stitch.
4 single crochets after that bobble in the next six single crochets next bobble in the next five single crochets after the bobble bobble in the next Thirteen single crochets after that bobble. Bobble in the next stitch. Five single crochets next. A bobble after that. Seven single crochets next. A bobble after that. Five single crochets next. A bobble after that. And let's end this row just like you started with six single crochets. Okay. That was row number 155. You know what to do for row number 156. Chain 1, turn your work and do a row of single crochet in every stitch. That's going to be row number 156 and come back for row number 157. Alright everyone, so once you're done with row number 156, let's start with row number 157. That's going to be chain 1. Turn your work and we'll start as usual with 6 single crochets and a bobble stitch. Let's do 4 single crochets after that. Bobble in the next. Three single crochets next. A bobble in the next. Single crochet. A bobble again. Three single crochets after that. A bobble in the next. And four single crochets after the bobble. Okay, let's do a bobble in the next stitch. Six single crochets after the bobble. Bobble in the next. Five single crochets next. A bobble after that.
6 single crochets after that a bobble in the next stitch Seven single crochets next. Put a bobble after that. Four single crochets. A bobble in the next. Six single crochets next. Bobble in the next. Five single crochets after the bobble. A bobble after that. Thirteen single crochets. Bobble in the next. Four single crochets after the bobble. Bobble in the next stitch. Three single crochets after that. A bobble in the next. Single crochet. Bobble. Three single crochets, a bobble, four single crochets after that, a bobble in the next. And six single crochets to end this row. That was your row number 157. Chain 1, turn your work and do a row of single crochet in every stitch. That's going to be your row number 158. And meet me back here for row number 159. Alright everyone, I think we should stop here for today. That was part number 14 for you and like I said in the beginning of this video, if you would like to work with me on Yarnoculus, please drop me an email on admin at yarnoculus.com and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Other than that, please let me know in the comments if you are crocheting this blanket with me and how's it going. I'll be waiting for your comments. I'll see you next week with part number 15. Till then, take care and happy crocheting.